I'll show you here how I close large gaps when I'm welding with my flux core welder. So I'm just an occasional welder, uh, just fixing things around the ranch, and uh, don't don't have the gas tank for the MIG setup or anything, but I just use a flux core wire, and uh, works out pretty good for me. Does make a big a bit of a mess. You can see that spatter all around the weld there. But uh, in the end, it works, and um, I don't need it to be pretty. I just need it to be strong, and that's the method I use to close the larger gaps. Here's another view of a different weld, but going horizontally this time. I use about the same technique. I'm usually trying to drag the puddle behind me and I just use a swirling donut action and I hold about a 10 degree angle and I usually like to drag the puddle behind me um, and just go nice and slow and you get that rhythm after a while. You know, just practicing, and this is pretty forgiving angle iron, it's like 3 8 inch thick, so there's plenty of metal there to grab onto. But I think the key is just to go slow and keep a consistent movement of your hand so that that puddle is a consistent shape behind you and you just drag it across. Like I said, it doesn't have to look pretty to be strong. So that's all I'm usually looking for when I'm fixing stuff or, you know, fabricating something. And then with that flex core, yeah, you gotta scrape all that crap off. It leaves that spatter all over, but it's really pretty minor inconvenience versus me having to maintain MIG tanks and pay for all that. So that's it.